It is Thursday, October 22nd, 2020, and this is your Three Gorges Dam update. We have four pieces of information to cover today, including a look at the live stream and the water level at the dam. And next, with all of the controversy surrounding the Google Earth photos of the dam, I thought, why not dive into Google Earth ourselves? We also found some interesting Twitter conversations about the dam and some new tweets. Let's hop into it. And a brief caveat before today's video, while researching for these reports, I come across information from various sources. Just because I decide to include a piece of information doesn't necessarily mean that I agree with it. I like to let you decide for yourself. Moving on. First, let's have a look at the live stream at the dam. And the spillway angle camera is still up and running today with no visible discharge. And unfortunately, there is nothing exciting to report from the side angle camera. It remains deactivated. And now let's have a quick look at the water level at the dam. The current water level is 173.66 meters. The current inflow is not noted. And the current outflow is listed at 16,200 cubic meters per second. It is worth noting that these numbers are released by the CCP. Over the past 24 hours, the water level at the dam has been up and down a little. It was about 173.53 meters 24 hours ago before rising to over 173.7 meters and currently sits at 173.66 meters. Upstream at Kuntan, the water level has also risen. It was about 175.8 meters and currently sits at 175.95 meters. And most of us have seen the photos that show supposed curvature at the dam. I thought today would be a good day to dive into Google Earth ourselves and see exactly what's going on. Okay, and right away when we pull the dam up on Google Earth, it just doesn't look right. But I have seen people say things like, uh, when you have a structure this large or Google Earth is kind of like a composite, and so anything that's long and straight is going to look curved over a period of time, right? So let's look at a road or something over here and just see if we can make any sense of this. I'm trying to get it to zoom in. Here we go. The road looks pretty straight, though. It does look pretty straight to me. And I'm just trying to be um, impartial as I can. There's some curvature on the road there. Apologize for it glitching out. Let's look here. Let's have a closer look at the dam now. And it does look pretty deformed. And if you'll recall a few months back, the CCP actually did admit that it had, uh, quote, deformed slightly. But this looks, this just doesn't look right, right? Hmm. You know, if only we could find like a ship or something we could compare it to that we know should be straight. That might alleviate some of the concerns. I will say this though, the cranes on top, they look really straight. They don't look deformed. Granted, they aren't as big structurally, of course, as the dam. Look at the debris behind the dam there. A couple of ships, what are they cleaning up? There's a couple more cleaning up, possibly. I want to find something that we know should be straight, right? Because roads are curved over long periods of time. Um, let's see. Let's look in the ship lock here and see if there's any ships at the moment. There's some ships, actually. bit of curvature too in the ship lock along that middle uh, channel I guess there let's 
Okay, what's this? Do those ships look straight? They look a little curved to me, too. They look a little curved. What do you guys think? I don't know. It's hard to decipher all this, but that doesn't look straight to me, and that's clearly a ship um, in the ship lock. This road looks pretty straight, though. What do you guys think? Is the dam truly that deformed? Let me know in the comments. And while researching for today's video on Twitter, I noticed that this gentleman named Kev, who's been following the dam pretty closely, had a couple of new tweets that I found interesting and thought that I would share with you guys. People often don't understand how the concrete in the Three Gorges Dam can be so malleable and bend like rubber. This is how I explain my understanding of the process that is underway. And here's his take, but please keep in mind this is just a Twitter thread. It's built of many thousands of blocks of concrete and relies on gravity and friction to hold it together. It is not a single amalgamated pour of concrete. It has millions of interfacing joints. Imagine taking thousands of toy wooden building blocks and building a similar structure. Would you then be able to gently push parts of the structure so that each block moves a little relative to the neighboring blocks without the whole thing falling apart? How much would you be able to deform and move the entire structure in this way? Definition of plastic, capable of being shaped or formed. It is a plastic dam made in China. And this gentleman who goes by the name AF on Twitter also found some interesting photos of the dam. They supposedly show the walls of the dam separating in certain places. And by looking at the first photo, we can see what he's trying to point out. Here's what he said. Here's an example of what I am referring to of the crack widening the further down the dam it goes. And to me this next photo is a bit more speculative because it's hard to tell exactly where the location is. But here's what he said. More Three Gorges Dam pictures, recent but exact date, unknown. And one last photo that appears to show the walls seeping water or some sort of mold or damage. Thank you for watching this video. If you're finding it informative, please consider giving the channel a subscribe. And our last piece of information is a series of interesting tweets.
and I think that's a good place to wrap up today's video. I hope that you found it informative and check back soon for more content.